this act, uh, the, the use of ultrasonic, uh, we are familiar with and I've been using that. In fact, I, I admire Yoshi for his passion and consistency in getting it and pushing for a, a finer, smaller ultrasonic tip that, that helps to uh, re reduce the amount of uh, dentin being removed during the process. Uh, so he got eventually got the own, his design of instrument now, which is a very nice uh, initiative of it. It's really our mindset, changing our mindset from something that we always perceive as difficult to something that is perceived to be consistent, predictable, and easy. I think that mindset is number one thing that we we have to change. And then, of course, uh, I also want to learn the uh, the Yoshi loop and how how that would help with with the treatment. Uh, his method is very logical and systematic and especially is very predictable. There are other people who advocate different ways of doing things but their methods not very predictable, number one, and uh, it doesn't give a confidence that we can do it very well. I find that with the Kong Beam CT and uh, the pre-measurements, using those instruments quite predictable and uh, not difficult at all. I think uh, the instruments that invented by Dr. Tarauchi has actually makes this whole uh, removal a lot predictable because previously we have different kind of instrument which doesn't really uh, work very well. It's different from any lecturer that who can provide today's work probably and I think he is uh, really outstanding his invention and, uh, and the thing has come very far. I, I knew him a long time ago, but he, I can see all the progress that he has made over the years has been excellent.